in today's project, we tackled removing these bushes as well as this tree from this side yard. There are a couple of reasons why we wanted to take this on. First, this is kind of the approach when you pull up the driveway. This is the first thing you see, this corner of the house. And so we wanted to remove them just from a, a visual aspect to make things look better. Um, but also, we are getting ready to get started on a drainage project, um, which is going to involve accessing the downspout drains as well as regrading this yard a little bit to provide for better surface drainage. Uh, so it was time to go ahead and get this done in order to prepare for that project. This tree um, is actually, it's a nice tree. It's some sort of a cherry tree. It has very nice blooms in the fall. Um, but unfortunately, at some point, obviously it was overgrown before and someone kind of topped it and, and hacked it we looked to try to limit up, but if you, if you look in here, as you can see, um, there really wouldn't be anything left after we did that. We just decided it was time to go. And, and also, as you'll see in an upcoming video, when we actually do the drainage project in this area, there really would have been no way, way for us to do that project and save this tree. It's just in the way as well. So it's time to go. So let's go ahead and get started. So we got that tree cut down and grabbed the tractor with the grapple. Um, that's was kind of our primary tool for this project. Um, I was just kind of picked up the limbs and kind of made a couple of piles and then picked up those piles, you know, as much as I could carry and, and carried them back to the to the brush pile in the back. I did leave the stump a little high, as you can see. As I was talking about earlier, we're getting ready to get started on some drainage work, which. For that project, we're going to go ahead and rent a mini excavator, and I intend to use that mini excavator to get this stump out, and so uh, I left it high just to give me a little bit more leverage when, when pushing on it, trying to dig it out. Um, so after we got all this brush cleaned up, then uh, it was time to move on to getting the bushes taken out, um, and I chose to try and use the grapple for the most of that work, um, as you'll see, and then um, where that didn't work, I, I used a chain and, and pulled with the tractor. So this particular bush was uh, very close to the end of the wall and I didn't feel comfortable trying to dig it out with the grapple and so I just grabbed a chain for this one and pulled it out but the rest of them are um, a little bit further away from the wall and I was able to get those with the grapple. Looks like there is a little bit grown into the wall. Knocked a couple of rocks, so we're probably just gonna have to restack some of the rocks. With so you're saying these stones that came loose over here? Yeah, you can see them. It pulled. There's kind of a couple of pieces here in the bush, and it pulled that couple of stones out. But we can. These are kind of just dry stacked at the end. Yeah. It's just a little bit of mortar. So. Well, we'll pull out the next one. We'll see because they're also even further from the wall. Yeah. This one was the closest, I'd say, yeah. if you look at the hole where right. it just came out of. Yeah.
So for the rest of these bushes along this rock wall, I approached them parallel to the wall so that I wasn't pushing towards the wall. And fortunately these bushes, like I said earlier, were far enough away from the wall that I was able to, to comfortably get in there and, and uh, approach them that way and not run risk of, of running into the wall. And I also didn't have any more issues like I was pointing out where the bush was grown into the wall and, and there was no more damage to the wall uh, through the rest of this. So I switched over the chain for the rest of these. We were too close to the house to be able to use the grapple. Um, those first two you saw came out nice and easy. This one gave a little bit of a fight, but was still relatively easy to pull out. Going forward, starting with this one right here, these these were about all the tractor wanted. Um, you can see right there, I almost, I almost a lot of them running out of power. Um, it's kind of a balance between using a low enough gear that you have enough power, but you don't want to put too much power to the ground and just spin the wheels and lose your traction. So um, here I, I'm just I, I'm running out of power, so I, sh I shift down uh, one gear and I do start spinning the wheels, uh, but it's kind of a balance between I, I am spinning a little bit, but it, it, I'm still moving forward. You don't want to sit there and spin and stop in your tracks, but this was the right gear for this particular application.
the last two put up the biggest fight. Uh, the one you just watched me pull out, as well as this one that I'm working on right now, they were the toughest ones. You can see here I'm lifting uh, and actually pushing backwards. This technique kind of helps to break out some of the roots in the front that you, you aren't getting when you're pulling forward. And that's, you saw in the last one, that's what ultimately helps get that one out. And um, same thing with this one. I work it back and forth to break out roots around it as much as I can. And then that's what helps me finally get it out. We got all the brush cleaned up and I think it turned out pretty nice. It looks great. Our next video we're going to get started on the drainage projects both in this yard right here as well as up over the rock wall. There's some on the other side. Um, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we hope to see you on the next one.